To recap, the World Anti-Doping Agency Commission has found widespread cheating in its investigation into Russian athletics, cheating by athletes, officials and the entourage of the athletes, clear evidence of a systemic culture of doping in Russian sports. The British athletes, uh, world's bronze and silver medalist, Olympic finalist, European gold medalist, Martin Rooney is with us uh, on Drive on Talk Sport. How are you doing, Martin? I'm all right, Adrian. You well? Yeah, I'm good. Good to have you on. Uh, as an athlete, what was your overall reaction to this report and the findings? Uh, I wasn't surprised, to be perfectly honest, but I was uh, disappointed to see how far it's going. Um, but I'm actually quite happy because it, it looks like someone's actually doing their job now and uh, people are getting caught and hopefully we can we can uh, cull the people that need to be culled and um, go forward with the sport. Martin, I seen yesterday, uh, can I ring up and ask a question? Hashtag <laughs> WADA press conference. What was that question you wanted to ask? Uh, I think it would have been, uh, hey, Dick, how's it hanging? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really know. I, at the time, I was kind of, I just wanted to know uh, how WADA could do their job better. Um, I felt their, I think their funding is only £17.5 million pounds a year, I think, which is, well, it's ineffective. If you like sports, like a multi-billion-pound sports, and you've got something that's on, uh, only on seventeen and a half million pounds, like trying to govern these sports. So, it's, um, I just wanted to see how how they felt they could do a better job. Um, what should happen now? State-sponsored, uh, we're hearing this is samples were destroyed by mistake. We hear athletes coerced, athletes intimidated. Um, it, it's an extraordinary report. Uh, so, what should happen to uh, Russia now? Do you think? Um, well, I think they've already started cutting a lot of their, their top coaches and the people that um, they've got a new head coach who I think, um, I don't know if he's any better than what they've had before, but um, I'm kind of on the fence about whether they should be cut from the sport. I feel that, it's uh, although it is systematic, I don't believe 100% of those guys were on drugs. I believe that there's got to be some clean athletes in there who maybe are just talented enough to do the job, you know, um, otherwise... It'd be what? How can you have faith in people from other countries? Like how? How do people in Russia? How are people in Russia not good enough to be at um, a world standard, but other people around the world are? So, um, I think it'd be very harsh. Uh, and I can understand why Lord Co doesn't want to do it because, as far as I can see, I think there's going to be more countries coming out, and um, I think uh, if he ends up banning one country, he might have to ban another country that's got a more favourable favourable reputation that's in the same boat. Is he the man to clean it up, though? Is he, I mean, he come across incredibly almost naive yesterday, Martin, yeah. as well, talking about it, as though he didn't really understand the, the, the dynamics of it, which I found amazing. But is he is he strong enough to, to sort it out? Yeah, I totally agree, Mickey. He was pretty terrible yesterday. I think the, the interview with Jon Snow, he kind of crumbled and... Um, I, I, I'm a massive fan of Lord Curry. He's, um, he's obviously a hero for lots of British athletes. Um, but I can't believe that you've been in IAAF since 2007 and not known what's going on. I think um, it, naive is the word, but ignorance is not. I, I just can't stand ignorance, and I can't believe that he didn't know what was going on. And across the board, I think the whole of the IAAF, there needs to be a review. Uh, and... Um, I, I, I'm a massive fan of him, and before all the rev, rev, revelations came out, he would have been the man for it, but now I'm, I'm not too sure. Well, I mean, I had my doubts about Lord Coe with regard to his connection still with Nike that he seemed to brush off, despite the fact they're linked with mm. Gatlin and the Oregon Project, etc. So there's all those links there, and I, I, I don't think he took those seriously. And now, I mean, you've come on and said, Martin, that you're, you weren't surprised by it. So I'll be amazed if he was surprised by it. Do you yeah. think that there's 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 a, quite a lot of people who think he should resign from the position? He's only just got the job, but he, he should resign from the position. I think I'm one of those. So what do you think? Well, first of all, I wouldn't blame Nike. Um, I think Nike, uh, they're just a sports brand company that are capitalizing on publicity and uh, supporting world-class athletes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see, I want something to be done, and if that means Co has to go, then it has to go, and they have to bring in someone else who's going to come in completely clean uh, and tarnished and someone who could be effective at the job.